Ever since the ancestors of our Native Americans crossed the Bering Straits, the nomadic lifestyle has been here, has been interconnected. This lifestyle is as old as time itself. And here in the Himalayan Plateau, one of the most high biodiversity regions of the world, the nomadic life is deeply interconnected with preservation of the environment. As the glacial snows melt, they nourish the rich grasslands, which in turn are part of the yak grazing patterns. So actually in preserving the traditional lifestyle of nomadic people, we in turn are preserving the environment of this vast Himalayan plateau, in turn preserving our future. Hey, Gong Kang Sa, Jesse Dele. Yeah. Oh. Di Abudo. Nigga, you, you show. Show, you're the way. In order to preserve this very complex biodiversity system in the Himalayan region, we must preserve the nomadic lifestyle. However, there are also many challenges. For instance, there's a lot of poverty, there's lack of medical care, and lack of education. However, these challenges can be met. One of the very first projects that I did here was to set up a nomadic medical clinic involving two jeeps that were outfitted as ambulances with monks and nuns trained as paramedics that could come up to highland tent camps like this and provide medical care. Efforts by other groups are also involving education, even providing internet access computer programs for nomadic children to go to school in the highlands. So these challenges can be met, but it requires effort. And if we don't do this, we won't be able to preserve the lifestyle of the nomads and allow it to evolve with our environment. If we don't preserve their lifestyle, we won't preserve the patterns of yak grazing, and in turn, the grasslands will change. And with that change, our planet will change as well. Mm.